Howdy, I'm Jason Lewis, and today on the Auto Edit Jeep JK Buildup, we're going to be adding awesomeness to the back here with the license plate relocation, third brake light mount, this cam can mount that goes on here, and I even put a high lift jack mount. So stick around, we'll get this stuff installed, and we head out to the hills for a test in tune. Woohoo! Let's get the installation part of this video started with these goodies. An accessory mount for the tire carrier. I'm installing a cam can that I may or may not have liberated from my buddy Fred's shop at some point. I'm also putting on a high lift jack mount and the metal cloak license plate relocation bracket and center brake light. So first up you want to go ahead and open up the tire, swing, get it there and then you want to mount or figure out where you want to mount these things. So while that's open, you just hold these things up. And as you can see, I put little marks where I want that thing. So that's going to live there. And the high lift jack will live right about there. So you want to go ahead and get that noted before you pull the spare tire off. Now, just buzz the spare tire off and simply attach the side accessory mount where you marked it. And once that's tight, bolt the high lift jack into its new home. I found that with a hardtop Jeep, the jack body rides very close to the back glass and wiper. So I will only mount it up when I'm hitting the trails or figure out a way to secure it to the spare tire later on. So now it's time to move on to the license plate holder and third brake light uh, contraption that we're gonna mount to the center of the spare tire here. So let's get going on that. Get into the back of your junk and pull the carpet up on the passenger side to find the wires you're going to tie into. The instructions are pretty clear on what wire connects to what. Here's a quick tip. When prepping the wire loom that comes with the mounting kit, stagger your cuts so that the plastic splice connectors don't make a giant blob in the harness. Then route the wire out to the rear bumper. Here's the path I took. Down into the rear taillight housing out the foam under the tub and then over the frame rail and through this hole I drilled into the rear bumper near the pivot. Then just zip tie the rest into place out to the mount in the center of the tire plate. Now this is the wheel spacer that I got. It's an inch and a half and it's to adapt the stock rim with the 37 inch tire onto this mounting bracket here. Now I had to make a couple of quick changes to it. I had to, because of these shoulders on the actual mounting plate and where the studs come through, I had to do a little bit of clearance on the three holes for the lugs to go through there and then I made this little channel here for the wire that's going to come out through this hole and go down into the center post for the brake light and license plate kit. So a couple quick changes there but this now goes on just like that. The wire has its nice little home to sit in there and sit flush. We'll mount that up. Attach the female barrel connectors to the ends. I tend to get carried away and like to add some heat shrink to these. Then you make a quick splice in the wires for the center brake and license plate lights on the mount itself. Now you're ready to put it all together. All right, everything looks good there. Let's grab some meat. Heave that spare tire back into place and bolt it down. Then put the license plate bracket in its mount and plug each connector into the proper wire from the harness. I did find one more glitch caused by having to run a wheel spacer with this stock rim. The quick release pin for the plate mount wouldn't fit. So I used a quarter 20 bolt and nut for now. And that's it for the install portion of our program. Check out how cool everything looks back here. The third brake light is really nice to have and the license plate looks just right in the middle of the tire and has its own light. Now, let's go get dirty. Yes, we're back to the trail that has caused the most amount of carnage to the Jeep so far. Now I've been dialing it in. This is a learning process. Thank you guys for coming along for the ride on this thing. Here's the quick rundown of where we're at on the Jeep so far. We have the overline fenders on. We have the crawler rear bumper with a low CG tire carrier. 
And of course, I just finished installing the license plate relocation bracket and the gas can and the high lift jack mount. Now I didn't put the high lift jack on for this drive because I'm not real stoked on how that thing fits yet. Um, we're gonna do this trip without it and then I'll dial that thing in later. But here's what I wanna see. I wanna test on this hill that has caused the most amount of rubbing and carnage to these poor tires. Let's just see how the dial-in has gone with the added bump stops and the spring spacers in the front here. So we're gonna hop on board, put it in four low, climb this hill, see what happens. Let's head on up there. I'm gonna do second gear, four wheel low, sway bar disconnected, and the rear axle locked. So let's purposely put it into some tough spots here. I'm gonna put it right in the hole there. Oh, okay. No rub yet. Sweet. All right, now here is the section where it really, really got hammered last time. And in we go. Nothing yet. Creeping up. Wow. Well, I would say definite improvement. Awesome. That feels really good. Let's turn the lockers off. And let's just do this kind of uh, a la carte here. Let the, let the Jeep figure itself out and I can figure out how to put better wheel placement. Look at that. Pretty darn easy. And let's just kind of keep motoring here. traveling along this little section of road here, I wanna kind of give a quick review on the tire carrier so far. As you can see out the back window, it's really not that bad. With the seats up and the headrest there, it kind of flanks that and makes it a little trickier. But still, the low center of gravity or the low mount on that thing is actually quite nice. So to have a third, that's right there, a 37 inch tire mounted to the back of this thing. So I would say that is actually pretty darn good. I also feel really good about having the license plate relocation and the third brake light back on there. And as you can see out the back there, even though I'm blasting down this road, pretty good. That tire carrier and tire mount is pretty solid. And I really appreciate that. That would bug me to see that in my rear view mirror bouncing around all the time. Yikes. Rocks flying up everywhere. All right. We have definitely made improvements on the Jeep and that is an awesome thing. Cool. All right. Haul tail. Cool. Yeah. All right, so let's head on over here. There's that cool little hill climb. Let's get on up that thing. Definitely nice to feel like I'm not gonna rip my tires apart, that we definitely dialed in the suspension in a great way, and that I can kind of hit some stuff a little bit more vigorously. Let's see, we got a little rock option here. Don't have the lockers on, so I want to exercise just picking good lines through here. Look at that. Not even a wheel slip. Gotta tell you though, these tires really do make up for a lot 
in skill level <laughs> and suspension travel because they kind of just really mow down littler rocks. So it makes this really quite easy and kind of comfortable. I do have the sway bar disconnected just to keep it as cushy as I can in here and it's really quite nice. feels good to have good components on here like now I know that all the fenders clear there's no rubbing on those the metal cloak crawler rear bumper doesn't bind up the tires and the tire mount is really rock solid and awesome using that with the gate is super easy the license plate relocation bracket home run easy the cam can, gas mount, awesome. This is really coming along nice. All right, I would consider that a complete success. So until next time, enjoy your drive. <laughs>